from a broken heart to the exercise craze Australians have taken to heart. Zumba has been shaking things up since the 1990s, although in recent times its popularity has reached the point where it's been described as cult-like. But there's one Zumba fan who says its benefits far outweigh fitness. A mother of three who claims it helped her beat cancer. Linda Kincaid has the story. Ditch the workout and join the party. That's the motto of Zumba, an exercise regime that looks more like a dance party. It's addictive. It's, it's exercise in disguise. Zumba devotees, most of them women, swear by it. What I love about Zumba is the music. Whether it's at the gym or in the home, the South American-themed dance aerobics exercise is responsible for shedding millions of kilos around the world. Since I began the Zumba fitness program, I've lost 21 kilos. Now one mother claims it's not only fun and effective, but it helped save her life. My what, number one risk was death in the surgery because the tumour had wrapped itself around all the major blood vessels surrounding my heart. 31-year-old Karina Carroll was last year diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma after the discovery of a tumour in her chest. Terrifying that um, it can spread to the blood, blood streams and they're facing the yellow. It really changes in them. Chemos, she had to rest have to do pretty much do the housework, look after the kids, try to support her, try to do everything for her. For six months, Karina endured chemotherapy and radiation while at home watching daytime TV. I saw Zumba come on TV and I thought, oh no, what's this, another fad? I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go because the music sounded Latin and being Latin American... I thought, this sounds interesting. I wonder what it is. After ordering the box set, she slowly began moving to the beat. I couldn't breathe halfway through, so I sat down and I thought, right, that's going to be my goal, just to do one song. As soon as I got the all clear after radiation, that's what I did. I went home, home put some on. I couldn't do it, but I still tried. And I would do that whole hour. Even walking through it, I would do it. In her toughest moments, Karina believes Zumba gave her back her life. Zumba gave me an outlet. It gave me an ambition, a goal to reach, not only to live for my children, but this is something that I have to do. I have to do Zumba. I'm not finished yet. Having gained weight during the cancer treatment, Karina initially laughed when a friend suggested she become a Zumba instructor. Mother, who wants an overweight instructor? She pursued shedding the extra 21 kilos, and for the last five weeks, she's been teaching. Now we're ready to Zumba! Zumba! Rima Machuba is responsible for talking Karina into giving it a go. Why did you um, want her to do this? I knew that for her it'd be a life-changing experience. And I remember when we used to work together in retail, we used to put on reggaeton trucks and we used to dance together in the shop. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's exactly what she needs. You know all the dance moves? Yeah. Her daughters take part in the class and sometimes even join her up the front. Woo! I like about Zumba that um, you have fun. Many of Karina's friends have also signed up. Yeah. When I'm absolutely exhausted, she's like, come on, move your butt. Your steps aren't hard. You don't have to be a dancer. Even her mum is a convert. You have fun. You meet a lot of people. Uh, and you lose the weight. There's no doubt this is a very serious cancer that would definitely have um, have claimed her life. Her doctor, Dominic Ralstone, the clinical director at Melbourne's KC Super Clinic, says a positive attitude and future goal complemented her cancer treatment idea being that you've got a future focus. I think having that focus on exercise, especially something that's such, got such a, a positive and, and pleasant aspect to it as Zumba does, I think has been really useful for you. How do you feel now compared to, you know, six months ago? Amazed and really proud of how far I've come. I've never been able to say that about myself, but yeah, I'm proud.